Alright YouTube, what's going on? This is going to be a really quick video demonstration of some syscall hooking for the Sanctum EDR which is a project I'm working on, you can read about it here on my blog. Essentially we're going to be hooking some system service calls, um, some syscalls with our EDR which is a, a driver, a GUI and a user mode kind of engine all written in Rust which is really exciting and I just want to demo the sort of syscall hooking. So the first thing we've got here is a very small program called malware. This is literally going to be called malware.exe and it takes a PID, so a process ID, and it's going to try and open uh, open that process. It's going to get a handle to it. Now, the EDR, as you can see here, is running. So the, the driver is running um, in the kernel of our operating system. We also have this user mode engine over here, which is just the um, the kind of glue between the GUI, the driver, and all the data and all the decision making that we want to do. So what's going to happen when malware.exe launches, um, the driver is going to tell the engine, which is here, uh, there's a new process started. And the engine is basically filtering on all of these processes at the moment, looking for one called malware.exe. When it spots malware, it's going to do a couple of things. The first thing that we're going to do is we're going to inject our um, EDR DLL into malware.exe. And this is going to go ahead and create a new thread uh, when the process attaches. And what this thread is going to do is it's going to enumerate all of the threads in the target process. So in this malware.exe, we're going to get all of the threads except for the current thread that's executing because we don't want to lock ourselves out. Once we have all of those threads, we're going to suspend them. So we're not going to let the process do anything until we resume the threads down here. So once we've suspended those threads, we're going to resolve um, some stub addresses. So you can read about that on my blog. I'm not going to explain it in this demo. And um, then what we're going to go, go and do is patch NTDLL. So we're going to patch ZW open process. And we're going to overwrite that stub, which is essentially um, going to look like this. So we're going to overwrite this with a with a jump instruction to our EDR DLL that's in memory. Um, if that makes sense. If it doesn't, go look at the blog. Hopefully it'll make sense then. So once we've overwritten that, because malware.exe, um, once the thread is resumed from the DLL, so resume all threads will then allow execution to continue so what's going to happen is we're going to try and open the process so we're going to open a target process in this case we're just going to target notepad um, just because it's nice and easy and we'll print the result out of, of this request now if all goes well we should have a handle um, because all that our uh, callback routine does so this is our callback routine this is this is where the um this is essentially where we're going to jump to from the uh syscall that gets made when we call open process it's going to jump to our own implementation of open process so for now all we do is basically exactly the same as open process syscall does here so um move our cx into our 10 move x26 into eax we can forget about these and we just make a syscall um, rep will be kind of implied uh, when this function cleans itself up. We'll also uh, that will also sort of take away from the stack um, and, cl and clean and clean this function up. So all being well, this is just going to test the proof of concept of redirecting that execution flow, which is exactly what we want our EDR to do. So we've got Notepad open. Uh, we've got X X64 debug ready. Uh, and I guess the last thing just to very quickly mention in the DLL itself um, there is going to be this little pop-up box that comes up that says before um, it's going to do that just before we patch into DLL this this kind of acts as a mini breakpoint um, because execution on that thread will be suspended until we click OK so this gives us a second just to attach to the to the malware process with the debugger uh, so we can see what's going on under the hood, uh, which is just a really nice kind of tidbit if if you are um, sort of getting your head around some of this uh, systems development yourself. So that said, let's go and um, 
you can see here some tests that I've done already. <laughs> so giving the game away ever so slightly, but let's go ahead and attach. So this PID here, 3368, is the PID of Notepad. So we'll go and run that. So you can see that before's popped up. So in x64, let's go ahead and attach to malware.exe. So if we go ahead and have a look at ZW open process, you'll see at the moment it's unpatched. It's just a, a normal syscall. Um, we can also see that our sanctum.dll is loaded and we also have this callback routine here, open process, which we just looked at, um, which is not that, <laughs> uh, which is over here. So uh, where am I looking? I lost my train of thought. So here we are. So it's this open process here. So, if we have a look at that, um, all it's doing is exactly as we saw, it's moving RCX into register 10, hex 26 into EX, making the syscall, and then it cleans itself up. Perfect. So, let's go and resume uh, execution. So, we'll go ahead and click OK. So, that's telling us just that it's done the memory writes, so we can click OK. Um, not bothered about that anymore. So let's go and have another look at um, ntdll. Where's that not working? And we're going to go and look at zw open process. Am I being, yeah, fat fingers. So we can see that we have overwritten that memory. Um, we basically have a load of no operations and this move um, of an address into our AX and a jump. So looking at this, it's as we kind of saw just a moment ago. Um, I mean, that's kind of self-explanatory really. So go ahead and have a look in the terminal and we can see that the open process result was okay and we have a handle. Now this means that the syscall executed as expected and that's basically kind of that. Um, there's obviously more complicated logic now that we need to go ahead and implement in here, uh, in the callback. Um, we don't just want to make the syscall, we want to do other things, so we want to inspect these parameters here. Um, maybe uh, talk to the engine, maybe talk to the driver, but I'm not sure. That's going to take a little bit of, um, of care. Check back later, hopefully that was uh, something enjoyable, and I'll catch you later.